He's really working on that tree. That is strictly looking for bugs. No way that part of that tree is thick enough for a nest. It's a bit nippy this morning. 38 right now. Yeah, really? Well, it's too cold to sit in my spot and have my coffee. Oh, well, I'll put it out just in case. Yeah, I know, and Gray's waiting on me. Yeah, really? Oh, <laughs> my cat's I have to put me a little step stool right inside the garage door. If they want petted, they're going to have to come in there and see me. Adds a new meaning to the word cool cat. Seriously. So no box showed up overnight. Okay. So my box with the Lego part says it's oh, out yeah. for delivery. We're just going to go with that. Yes. Okay. They said 5.15 p.m. Uh, I've turned on alert, so I'll know. I realized I could do the roof on my building. That I did have one last thing that I could do. So that's what I'm working on this morning with all these floor pieces again. It didn't take me too long to do the roof and it turned out fine. Um, I'm missing a gargoyle of some sort inside of there and actually I think in the box coming today there's a little blue guy that might be too big or might fit. We'll see. And um, I haven't checked all of my minifigure paraphernalia. I might have something that'll work there. And the only two pieces that are wrong are these are supposed to be an inverted slope. But I think it looks fine the way it is. It actually will allow me to put a slightly bigger gargoyle. So, um, until I get my box now, I really, really, really have exhausted all the things I can do to get um, with this project. But you can see... When I get the blue bricks, uh, it's going to probably, the rest of it's going to go together pretty quick. So I decided I wanted a third tower and um, I changed things up a bit. Well, that is one clear sky this morning. Don's on a uh, conference call for his contract and uh, I decided I might like an earlier in the day drive today. I'm headed up to Holly Springs, probably going to um, go in the Goodwill and um, there was a pothole and uh, check out the water spot over by the Walmart where I get some good bird pictures sometime. Mostly just out enjoying my clean car <laughs> and an early morning drive. It is uh, still pretty cold and it's still pretty windy. The flags are really whipping. Well, there is a great blue heron out there along the bank uh, fishing. I think there are hooded mergansers. They're all very far away though. Nobody in the close pond. That um, bench is new. I don't remember that being there before. And it does look like the grass has been mowed so that you could walk around to my right and out there. Um, I'm sure anything currently there would leave, but I guess if you were willing to go out there and sit long enough, uh, somebody might come back. I can also go over there on the side and kind of see the things in the bigger pond, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Well, now there's a kingfisher out there. Very distinct call, so you sort of can't miss him. But he's so far away, and I don't have the 600 millimeter lens, just the 300 millimeter with me. Phew, it's cold out there. I got out at two different spots to see if I could get a better vantage point. Not really. Um, but we'll call it a win since I got to see the kingfisher this morning. This Goodwill is nowhere close to Guardian Angel, and I haven't been in it for a while, but I figured it'd give me something to do for a few minutes today. That is a fantastic Corel set, and at a great price. Hi, Stripe! I looked for you this morning, but you weren't here. He wasn't here yesterday. I'm always glad to see him. Hi, buddy! Now, if tucks just won't pop out from anywhere too close, that would be good. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, tucks, he come out of the, 
out of the fence there right when I was petting on Stripe again. I had to pick him up and take him off. Poor Stripe, I was petting on him. And there's so much static out here from the dry air today. He looked up at me like, you just barked me, woman. Wasn't a good trust builder, but he's persevered. And then I got Tux down here entertaining him while Stripe eats. And, of course, Gray, she went up there, the busybody that she is, to try to run him off. So, poor guy. Hey, Tux. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Are you bundled up enough? Well, I got my, yeah. The answer is that, yeah, I'm not bundled up enough. Okay. It's cold out there. It's it like, is. It's not warmed up at all, and it's windy still. And yeah, going to wear my gloves. I have a little black cat on my shoulder. Yeah. She she wants some of the chicken I'm making oh, Johnny for lunch. That's what those meows are. <laughs> well, you stay as warm as you can. At least he's going early. It's only 1.30. I just got back. FedEx has been here. I'm cooking Johnny lunch. Yeah. Um, Two and a half hours of conference calls. I need to de-stress. I'm so sorry. I did that. I Project management. Oh my God, shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> Don's a good people person, but he prefers for somebody else to worry about the numbers and just let yeah. him do the job. I'll just write code. Uh, project management stuff. Uh. Hi, Missy. You need something? Don's making sure we go to the landfill in style with a clean car. <laughs> Uh, I got the uh, carport blown out while one of the vehicles was removed. Made it a lot easier. And of course, because we were parked in the middle of the driveway, we got a delivery. <laughs> Thankfully, it was the Amazon Prime van and not the big FedEx or UPS box truck. Yeah, there's some certain kitties that think that climbing on the truck underneath the carport and sitting and watching down the you know what's going on on the driveway their perch spot they think that's good so uh, yeah that and the uh, markings that they leave behind on my wheels <laughs> he would be talking about tucks so this was the item that was missing from the envelope the other day there's three of them and they're silicone reusable sponges but what I got it for was set my phone on so when it vibrates during the middle of the night or dings or whatever, it doesn't hopefully make any noise. Hopefully that's going to like act as a little shock absorber. So we'll see. Also look like a pretty cool reusable sponge or I'm sure it's good up to a couple hundred degrees. You just use it as a little, um, you know, trivet. <laughs> A two car pullover. Yeah. <laughs> we just yeah. passed the white Tesla Model X and Don waved at the yeah. GMC. Yeah, and I'm sure the lady driver looked at me like, why is that guy waving at me? <laughs> yeah, when you drive a Tesla, sometimes you're not into Tesla, you forget you're not into it's Tesla. Tesla. Uh, with all this racket going on here like a small fender bender over there. The sky is still just as blue and clear as can be. It's going to be another cold one tonight. anybody out in the fields today but yesterday on the local Facebook groups people were asking what are those people doing parked out walking in the fields it's a sweet potato season people the farmer comes along he uh, takes what he can with the machines and then all the local people come in and they get the rest by hand obviously not the cream of the crop the smaller ones but still it's tradition Gleaning. Gleaning. Yeah, I'd informed Don that our current rate of consumption was going to leave us with not enough pecans for all the things we need them for for Thanksgiving, including uh, Pioneer Woman Reed Drummond's yeah. uh, soul sweet potatoes. There we go. So <laughs> that was the main reason why today. We don't want to wait till two. He'll have plenty of pecans through the whole season. He freezes right. what he doesn't sell uh right away but um yeah we just need more <laughs> always can use more there's like a traffic jam today oh wow i just noticed mr ball's got his christmas trees oh, joy 
I like how wide some of them are at the bottom. Very pretty trees. We got you some fine looking Christmas trees out there. All I'm gonna be able to get, so if you want one, you better get one. Yeah, Donnie's got me on a artificial tree, but actually, actually, aren't we going on seven years with this one? Five at least. First Christmas is the 2013, so when then we know it's for slam out now. Now we ordered a quart of collards from the lady at the farmer's market we're getting our turkey from because uh, I don't know what to do with collards. Don says they don't smell too good while you're fixing them. I'd rather have a good southern cook that knows what she's doing prepare mine and then we'll just enjoy them. The only thing I won't Wow, we went around the corner over there and a Model 3 with a flat matte orange wrap came around the corner it was pretty good looking i like orange on a matte. tesla yeah, yeah. it was, it was uh, the bright and like her sunglass orange yeah this color orange yeah that's pretty close so we're here at uh sheets and don is um putting the lawnmower gas in the gmc filling the gmc up and refilling the lawnmower gas can why you ask well just in case we have an ice storm this winter we got five gallons of gas don just fills it up and then every three months puts it in one of the vehicles either the van or the gmc and then he refills it up again and put stabilizer in it and it's just a backup plan well what do you know they took down the flags for veterans day and they now have up the holiday lights or at least they've started putting them up Mineral Springs Park is not lit though. They've got all the lights ready to go down there too. Don did fill up the GMC with gas. Yes. However, I... the car says it's on empty. Yeah. Oops. It, yeah. Something to miss. Don already had to fix the speedometer. Um, yeah. A year ago, two years ago. Time flies. I don't know. Yeah. Sometime not too yeah. long ago. <laughs> that was fun. Box with Legos catalog for legos that's all i've got time for before dinner but i got the checkerboard floor finished all right so i unmuted it how's everybody great oh wow trevor i'm on big time g <laughs> <laughs> so don's on with kyle and a bunch of other folks to yep. talk about the the Chattamo. life or death of the chatamo adapter right. and don has um some Don't helpers meanwhile i'm gonna go get on with zeb for a uh board meeting with triangle tesla folks i'm out here with ruby so we won't be dueling in the house <laughs> with uh talking i'm headed back in the house it's uh 58 56 degrees out here and i didn't bring a jacket it's a little chilly but slade's pretty happy over there in her bed Don will have to be hooking up the little heater here any day now. So your wife has a request that you get the heater going in the garage. Oh, really? It's 56 degrees oh, out there. Oh, that's plenty. That's plenty warm. <laughs> I didn't they take, got fur coat. I didn't take a jacket. Oh, well, you don't have a fur coat. I know. <laughs> I, I, the garage is for things with fur coats. <laughs> so how'd your call go? It went well. well yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah, we had a very good discussion. I think Kyle's going to get it up in the next day or so. It's so it wasn't take... live. It was uh, just right. recorded. recorded. I, I wasn't sure. He's going to probably chop out sure. a little bit. But um, uh, everybody got to say, and the you know you'll, you can watch the video, but basically it was what you would expect. that uh, Chatamo really is going to die a death here. I mean, it's going to go away. Uh, you can debate when you can, but you, how can you take a trip when the only fast charge Chatamo has got one plug on one connector and it's the only one halfway to where you are going. So you must charge there. How in the world are you going to go leave when you leave home? How are you going to do it? Because if it's blocked, that's one thing, but if it doesn't work, what are you going to do then? You know, mm -hmm. you got to have two or two different vendors or something. So the fact there is nobody who's doing two different vendors, once you get out of a municipality, uh, when you're out on the highway, you know, you got one Electrify America and they have one Chatamo, like we had in Arkansas and it, it worked and it 
was great, but if it didn't work, we would have been, well, we would have just had to plug into a level two uh, J1772 and sit there for a couple, three hours is what we would have had. We wouldn't have been, we knew this, we, that we wouldn't have been dead in the water, but right. we didn't know for sure it was going to work. I mean, it, it was the only one and it worked flawlessly. Well, I'm glad you had a good time with the guys. Yes.